the merchant's daughter. I love this bit. Must be the shrine of kings that Nemanja gave out. It may have been meant for the Mad Sun King, but it's ours now. It's a public monument, not his private shrine. You won't get in there. That dried-up old prune in a robe sees to that. I can be persuasive, but what does an Osram want with a Karja shrine anyway? It reminds me of someone. Gone two years now. But what does a girl like you know of loss? Try me. I had a lover. Worked on monuments to their bastard king. Then he gave them a show in their sun ring for good measure. The Karja gave me back his broken bones, but what use are they? They won't build again. They won't make me smile. And seeing a statue of the Mad Sun King will? I, I need to see his work again. The marks his hands carved. The set of the metals they hammered. That's the soul of him. But that shriveled up old priest won't let me near it. I'll see what I can do. Turn away, child. The abiding Jahaman wishes to be alone in his retreat. If you want to be alone, go someplace else. Others want to pray here. Defile it, you mean? Yet another debasement of what was once pure. Truly, our tribe has lost the light. Our king is false, our temple is corrupt, and our soldiers weak. The sun hastens across the sky for shame. So the Karja have become impure? What does that even mean? Is Meridian not meant for those who built it, who made it great? It was pure before outlander squatters took it over. You mean Meridian was pure when the outsiders were in cages or dying in your arena? The sun is pure, child. It is not our place to question its divine will, only to act upon it. I'm done arguing with you. Stay or go, but I won't allow you to keep others away. I am here by the will of the sun. You believe in the old regime, but not enough to die for it or be exiled. That's some conviction. Heathen. My conviction blazes like the noonday light. Then stop me from bringing in the Osram. I... I cannot. I thought so. There'll be a reckoning. You'll back away from it. Good to see you. work he'd ever do. And look at it now. They defaced it because they hated what it stood for. They defaced a thing slaves like him lived and died for. Slaves they've already forgotten. Short-sighted bastards the lot. If they thought their son set off this bridge, they'd jump after it. <sighs> I thank you for honoring my wish. I hope you can find peace. I wouldn't know what to do with it, any more than the Karja do. Intention, Karja talks just like your children. It's insulting.
We need warriors like her, ready to stand up for the Sunday. Be the sun's prime, where the Vermeer wants to paint his mind.
It's good to be free of the city. You are a better hunter than I. I'll paint the mark while the spirits of the Glinthawks linger. There will be more where they came from. Yes. There will always be more machines. Their spirits find new bodies, but we only last as long as memory. That's why I must leave this story. A monument to our vanished shamans, To the wisdom the Karja bled from us. The machine oil in the paint will preserve it. Preserve their memory against all that was cut away. You have my thanks, Hunter. This is where the Otaru wanted to say her goodbyes. When we fled from our cages during the liberation, 
I tore through this clearing, thinking my friend was behind me. I kept running. But here she remains. Thank you for making it safe for me to return. I don't want to rush you, but it won't stay safe for long. I understand. I've done this before in waking dreams. In the pool, I'll find the bracelet of seeds she dropped when she fell. The seeds will be split, escaped, grown wild. She's passing from my memory into the jungles. I'll tell her it was I who died here and became a stranger in our own land. And she who still lives in every time of planting, of rains, harvests, and... Oh. What is it? There. Her bracelet. And... I thought she was behind me. But there's only my reflection. Do you need to be alone? For the first time, I am. You're looking for artifacts. Yes, but I'm no profiteer. Sun King Avad has named me an envoy to the Banu. I work on their behalf, looking for sacred relics to return to their homeland, Ben Ur. I'm especially interested in wooden figures that are sometimes found near Ben Ur rock paintings. If you have any, I have valuables to trade for them. You ready? Let's trade then. Come on back if you find any Banuk goods. I'd like to discuss a trip. Outlander, back from the wilds. Find any Banuk relics? The Banuk will be happy to get their treasures back. Good luck out there. Be sure to let me know if you find any Banuk relics. Found any Banuk relics? He's in the wilds, Outlander. What to do with him? But he tried to kill our Buy son. What you need, leave the rest.
I don't get about the sun. So you've come back to the temple. I was invited back. The priests wanted to hear what I had to say about reconciliation with the other tribes. They're listening. At least they've begun to listen. There's a distance between ears and deeds. Because of what we did? What you did. It was for the mourners. I think it helped them. You set them on the path. You can't know what their journeys hold. Such is the priest lot. Perhaps a red robe would suit you. <laughs> Not me. Besides, your temple doesn't even take women. We would be richer if we did. Go in light, my friend. And let the sun cast your way. Thank you, Naman. Where I'm going, I could probably use all the light I can get. I'm gonna need you.
machines. Has to be the new camp. The building told me that the shamans have learned some what happened to the other mercenaries he sent. The machines are docile. It's like they've already been overridden. Shaman, you're trying to understand the machines here too? Yes, Nora. And taking my time with my studies. Between you, me, and the spirits, I appreciate the peace. Not just from the machines. There are many changes in Ban Ur. The hunters and shamans bicker without end. What about? How best to deal with a harsher world. The hunters, they don't want it back the way it used to be. And we shamans find ourselves able to explain less and less. So many are exiles now, sent to wander. Here, no one argues. So, I welcome mystery. Perhaps the machines are glad to be separated from their herds, too. Greetings, Nora. I am Tikuk. Shaman, I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> the blue light is strong here. 
My people traveled far from the heights of Ban-Ur to experience it for themselves. The blue light. The light of the machine spirits. It is all around us. It settles upon us. This is how it used to be before they grew angry. I, I know about the derangement, but I didn't think the machines were ever this calm. What is it about this place? We don't really know. We sing and we listen to the machine songs. Do you mind if I look around more, Tikuk? Speak, trade, listen. You are welcome. No harm will come to you here. So it's not the hard acts that are doing this. There's something about this place. They can't see it, but In maybe Bayor, my focus can. In already sing songs about the hunts I've completed. This is how the Banuk must have gotten up and down the mountain. Are just waiting. A good sign, I guess. Someone's been up here recently. Was that? We are your chopping shard person. You can't just leave us here. Did Vilgen send you? I guess shards can buy a conscience. <laughs> Never mind that. Nora, girl, you have to stop the others. Up ahead, we snuck up here uncovered some kind of ancient device, plain as an anvil. That's what affects the machines. The other bungheads voted to take it to Pitchcliff for auction. But it's taken a beating already. Like it dropped from the sky. We tried to stop them digging it out. Without that thing up here, those Banuk will be massacred. I'll stop them. You two get out of here. It sounds like you've already done enough damage. Well, that's a fair appraisal. What the ropes slip for, you bunch of chuff skulls? The slack was on your end. What have you done? Who are you? You're not one of those Banuk. <sighs> Too late. Let me look at it. Hold on, hold on. This was our delve. We did the work. You want to put your axe in? What's this thing worth to you? I don't know about this. This was your idea. You started it, you can finish. All right. Could be this thing's just scrap, but even scrap has a price. So I'll ask again, what's it worth to you? It's worth more to me than you are. You still want to negotiate? 
Forget it. All he's ever given me is black toes. <sighs> They've made a mess of this. Catastrophic malfunction. This is long ago. And it's been sending a signal all this time. Fading out. We have to get back to the camp before the machines tear it apart. They've already started attacking. The hunt is back. Ready to the die. machines are angered. Keep your distance. Hunters, defend the camp. Do what you must. Yes. Roar and rend at me. I don't fear it. Now you'll hear my song, machine. A sharp song. Get out there! You'll hear my song, machine. A sharp song. Call that putting up a fight? It's not gonna be happy <laughs> about this. Nora, did you know this change would come upon us? Not exactly. Although I know there is a lot changing in our world. This time it was outsiders. Those Asaram thought. The Asaram do not think. They will never understand the balance between us. Between man and machine. Now the blue light has gone. And we are left with many songs. But more for mourning than gratitude. So what now? Will you go back to your homeland? When we teach the young to walk on shifting ice, we say, the secret is taking one step, then the next. Perhaps one day, we will understand the machine's mysteries. I hope so. Good luck, Teacook. Nothing, gotta call my nurse.
intentions. I'm keeping my eyes open. Been here three times this week. Able bodied adventurers! Preferably Outlander! Are you looking for wait? I know your face. <laughs> you came back! <laughs> How did we fare? Expensively. That's what I was afraid of. The tame machines. It's hard to explain, but there was a kind of signal that calmed them. Your men got greedy, so it's gone now. Gambling's a shoddy job, girl. I should have been a weapons dealer. That's steady work. Here, take it. The half I'd owed those hammer-handed chunks. Half? I finished the job. And what was it you said? Enough to buy a more becoming garb? What do you want? Carja silks? Ah, hoisted on my own purse strings. Can I interest you in a reasonable share of a lucrative opportunity? Sell me their services. No questions asked on my part. I knew it was only a matter of time before an Osaram tried to kill the sun.